You, you know uh, the trick where a magician takes a piece of rope, cuts it in half, and mysteriously and magically puts it back together again? Sort of. Yeah. Sort of. You've seen that trick before. I'm not just going to do that trick for you right now. I'm going to teach you how it's done. Are you ready for this? Using a regular piece of rope, take a look. Perfect. We're going to call this end A, we're going to call this end B. If this is end A and this is end B, what would that leave this to be down here? This is the middle. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we'll bring the middle up to the ends just like this, and then we get the scissors out. Whoops. Cut the rope in half just like this. Now the secret is not in the rope. The secret is in the knot that you tie the rope back together again with. It's called the Mongolian pop knot. It's been a secret for hundreds of years. I'm going to teach it to you right now. Pay very close attention. You take end A, you wrap it around end B. You take end B, wrap it around end A. You make a loop with both B and A that A and B go to in different directions simultaneously and at the same time. You want to make sure it's not too tight because if it's too tight and you have to untighten it, you can't untighten it because it's too tight to begin with. Make sense? Yep. You reach into your pocket, grab a little wiffle dust, Sprinkle that over top just like this, and what that does is cause a delayed reaction. There we go. Where that knot pops right off the rope, leaving you with a solid <laughs> piece of rope. Go ahead, take a look at that. You will notice that it is one solid piece of rope. It is not too glued together, screwed together, or anything that rhymes with those two words. Solid piece of rope, you're happy with it? Yes, yeah, cool. definitely now, solid. Yeah. I, I'll, a lot of people get confused at this point. They're like, can you do that again? I didn't quite get what you were doing. So I'll tell you what, I'll do it again, and I'll give you two opportunities to see actually what I'm doing. So we have to cut the rope into three pieces. I find that if you actually take this here and here and make a loop at the top and make a loop down at the bottom, like that, you gotta make sure that they're the same length, otherwise it won't work. Here we go. So we get the ends lined up with the middles, and you cut those loops. You get three ropes that are the same length. Clever, isn't it? Thought of that on my own. <laughs> Thank you. It's very, very important that the ropes are the exact same length, otherwise the trick is not going to work. So you need three ropes that are the exact same length. Now if you find yourself in a situation where you have a rope that's about this big, or you have a rope that's about this big, or you have a rope that's about this big, the trick won't work. It's, um, shoot. Okay, I actually don't know if I can... Can you hold on to these just for a moment? Thank you. I think there's a way out of this. What you do is you gather it small, medium, and then long rope like this. You bring the bottoms up to the top, not your bottom to the top, because that'd be strange. Unless you could do that. I'm sure there's a circus that would hire you, but you grab all the bottoms all the way up to the top. You make the magic motion. <laughs> See if this works. There we go. One, two, three ropes that are the exact same length. You are now ready to continue. <laughs> with the illusion. You take rope number one and rope number two, tossing rope number three over top of your shoulder, and you go on with what knot? Do you remember? Mongolian You got it. Watch. And A around NB, you take NB, wrap it around NA, you make a loop with both B and A that A and B go through in different directions simultaneously and at the same time. You want to make sure it's not too tight because it's too tight, you can't untighten it because it's too tight to begin with. <laughs> That's the confusing part. How about I simplify it a little bit? It's two square knots, okay? So you wrap this around there and you tie two square knots. That's it. Now the wiffle dust. You reach into your pocket. Wiffle dust, it's very simple. It's pocket lint. You just scrape those suckers good and tight. Sprinkle it over top just like that. It causes a delayed reaction where you can grab knot number one, knot number two, <laughs> leaving you with a solid piece of rope. Any questions? I can do that. There you have it, everyone, your weekly dose of wow. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week on Wonder Wednesday. My name is Chris Funk, the Wonderist. See ya.